Good morning, y'all. Hey, good morning. I know this is different, me coming up here natural, but this is going to be a vlog about Kirby Beauty's life. So, welcome to my channel if you're new, and welcome back if you are a continuous subscriber. You already know you already a part of the family. If you're new and if you already been my subscriber, like, welcome to the family and welcome back. <laughs> So basically, I'm going to work on a better intro, okay? We're going to figure this out for the vlogs. We're going to figure this out for the vlogs because I want to continue this and I don't want to make this just a one-time thing because I got a lot of tea to talk to you guys about. We got to package some inventory. We have to run some errands today. We need to go get a COVID test today. And I also have to work and my son is home today. So, yeah. And also, we have to clean. I saw, <laughs> I saw the disinfectant in the back. I have to clean up my house today. So, yeah, I got mass stuff to do today. And I want you guys to come along with the journey with me. And we also have to have some conversations because it's a lot that's been going on. So, first things first, let's get into, let's get into it. Bam! I see. Hey, <laughs> Kirby, what's up? Let's get into it. I'm in my pajamas, but y'all know, because I'm about to clean up, so I'm like, and work, so I'm like, you know what, I ain't even about to get dressed right now, uh, y'all see me get pretty later, and you know, ain't nobody trying to go outside, run an errand, smell like bleach, and detergent, mm -mm. I mean, and disinfect, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. but I'm about to make myself some cereal, and I just took my thyroid medicine, so I have to wait about 30 minutes in order for me to drink my coffee, but I am going to still make my coffee for you guys. Um, but I'm gonna make myself some cereal real quick. I'm only giving him some Cheerios. See? And I'm also gonna give him some oat milk. This is what I'm trying out for myself because I want to start slowly getting him off of regular milk and drinking oat milk and almond milk, stuff like that. No soy milk, soy, so I heard that soy is bad for you, soy. So we're not gonna do the soy milk, but we're gonna start trying out oat milk first because I'm kind of still scared with nuts because he is a kid. Um, I'm still scared about nuts. So I just said, let me do the oat milk and let him try that and let's see if he likes it. So, it's the back is cereal. With an orange. <laughs> so let me go get it some real quick. So you're gonna need some ice. That's number one, making iced coffee. I don't feel like drinking no hot coffee. It's getting pretty warm out, so I'm just waiting for my taste buds to change, hopefully. You know, this is a bariatric winter this season, this time around, so I don't know how this is going to go. I like a lot of ice in my coffee. So that way it's cool. Starbucks, dark coffee, dark roast. Pour this up in here. We need to go get me another bottle while we run the errands. I only got one more thing coffee. I didn't get the Starbucks coffee creamer that I usually use, which is a zero sugar caramel macchiato. I didn't get that one. I got this one, zero sugar caramel macchiato in the um, international light. I got that one. A little bit in here. Okay. And then this is optional, but I'm not adding this to my coffee because I don't want this today. But you could definitely add a couple of swiggles of this either in the cup or add it into the coffee like I do. 
but if you want to make it look like a Starbucks coffee, you could definitely like, swiggle it around the cup and make it look cute. But to me, this caramel doesn't stick. I don't know why. It's probably too cold. I don't know. But it doesn't stick to the cup like regular caramel does. So, I mean, to each his own. And if you can figure it out, let me know. This made me a little bit more cream. It's looking too dark. I went and got this cup from Walmart. It was $7. This beautiful cup, it was $7. And compared to Starbucks, it'll do it. It'll do it $7 compared to what, them $30? I'm good. It's all gonna get drank the same way. Straw won't be the same way. Cup won't look the same way. Mm. That'll do it. So good. Some people add a premier shake to it. To me, I don't want that. Basically, I just want to let you guys know, your girl hit a major stall. I hit a stall and I hit it bad. And that's kind of why I did not do a nine month update. It's because I hit a stall. I did not lose any weight. I've been juggling between 194 and 199. Um, what is closer to my menstrual time, I do hit 199 and then it goes back down to 196, 194. So right now it's basically I'm juggling 194, 196, 194, 196. I've been juggling it for the past, um, since month eight, I would say. No, since month seven. The last week of month seven is when it started. I hit it. I hit 194 on week on month seven going into month eight. And then that's when it started to like fluctuate. Every week it was two pounds. Or it would go up to 197. Or it would go back down to 196. Or it would go back down to 195. Um, or it would go back down to 194. But I've been juggling literally from 194 to 199. So, um, yeah, I've been in a stall, y'all. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, I have not spoken to my surgeon yet, and I have not reached out to my nutritionist yet. I need to um, because I feel like I, it's depressing. It is depressing. I didn't prepare myself for this stall. Um, I thought I did. I thought I was saying, Brie, you're going to get through this. Don't worry about it. If you reach to your lowest that you've ever been, because the lowest I've been, let's be real, as an adult was 190. And to literally be stuck in the 190s is literally depressing. It is depressing. It is depressing and it's taking a toll on me, but I literally have everything I need lined up so I can get the help that I need. So what I'm going to do is Monday, I'm going to call my nutritionist because that is the day that I'm supposed to see my surgeon. And then um, I have my therapy session next week, Tuesday. Um, and then I've also been putting on different clothes. I took myself to the mall last week. And I thank God that I did, that, the, that God led me to the mall because the outfit that I had, even though it was a small X small, I didn't like how it looked. Um, and I thought that I was fat. I thought that I was big. It took me to a dark place. And when I went to the mall, let me show you guys the outfits that I tried on. When I went to the mall, literally Forever 21, I was in a size 31 in the jeans, but that's kind of a 12. And I was, and those were skinny, super skinny jeans that I had to see, not super skinny, they were skinny jeans that I had on. And then the shirt that I had that I wore out was a small. Um so that right there made me happy and then i tried on another outfit the skirt was a large and um the shirt was a small and that actually brought me a little bit more comfort because i was about to be like what is going on this can't be the end this can't be the end and what a lot of people don't tell you that is don't tell us is that no matter what when we stall there's going to be several stalls throughout our life we don't know this it doesn't matter if we stall in that first 18 months. It's okay to have a stall. Let's be realistic now. Because a lot of us is not being realistic. We put so much pressure on ourselves. And that one year and a half to get as much weight off as we can, 
because that's what everyone says. You must drop so much weight in a year. In a, in, in a year and 18 months, and then once we hit a stall or our weight loss slows down, we're putting so much pressure on ourselves. We're becoming depressed. We don't want to eat. We feel like we're eating too much. We feel like doing all the things that are wrong instead of being patient with ourselves and knowing that this is a new lifestyle journey. Remember, lifestyle. That means it's going through our whole entire life. Our lifespan is not a year and a half. And that's what I'm trying to tell myself. Your lifespan is not a year and a half. You do not need to lose every single day every single pound that you want to lose in a year and a half. There's people that are still losing weight two years out. There's people that are still losing weight three years out. There's people that are already at their goal weight after two years and literally maintaining. And they have dealt with stalls. They have dealt with stalls. We need to start making stalls a little bit more peace and and being happy because maybe that's our body telling us that we need that they're catching up with our weight loss because we did lose a significant amount of weight and it's trying to tell us that we need to be a little bit more happy and patient with ourselves because we may just be losing inches literally let me give you just one example i bought this outfit from uh primark right literally this one i bought this outfit from primark cute right <laughs> I bought it a week before I was supposed to go out. I bought it a week before I was supposed to go out. Tell me why the day of, it felt like I could spin in that, that skirt and that shirt. And it was a small. It was a small. I was like, yo, I should have went and got an X small if I would have known that I was going to drop at least two inches in a week. Because that is ridiculous. And it fit me perfectly the day of that I tried it on. And then when it came down to us going to the brunch place, I couldn't fit it. That just shows you that a stall is nothing. It's because we, 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 we get unhappy when we're stalling, but we don't realize the inches that we lost. We don't realize the confidence that we've gained over that time. We don't realize the, we don't realize how small we are. Really, let's be real. We don't realize how small we are because we're so stuck on that dang scale and that number on the scale. And we're not realizing like, yo, you're literally in a small. Literally an X small. You wear size 10 in jeans. You wear size 12 in super skinny jeans and old navy. You just picked up two outfits in Forever 21 and you just tried them on because you just knew you were going to fit them. The old me would never have went and went and just picked up anything. The old me would have got a 3X or 2X and an X small because I just don't know which one is going to fit. Or the old me would have went and got a size 22 in jeans, size 24, size 20 just to make sure to see which one that fits. But yet, still, I picked up a size 12. Because I just knew the 12 was going to fit, and if it didn't fit, I knew dang well I was in size 14. We need to break this habit. We need to seriously go seek some help. If you're dealing with this, and you're in a stall, and you feel as though you're in a stall. You know, you feel, not feel as though, you feel as though you need the help. Go get help. Go get help. Because it's only your brain. It's only your head telling you that you're big. It's just, and, and everybody I know when they're not in a stall, they don't feel like they're big. Let me not, let me not just say that. You're feeling emotional about being in a stall, just in general, no matter what it is. And you feel like it's making you depressed and sad. And it makes you feel like you, you want to give up. And you saying that via she didn't work. Go get some help. Go speak to your surgeon. Go speak to your nutritionist. Go speak to a therapist. Go speak to somebody. Because we're not giving up. I don't care if I stole out literally till my one year anniversary. I don't care. I'm not giving up. And I'm taking you guys along this journey. And I'm being real with you guys. I have literally hit a stall in month eight. And it is month nine. And we're going into month ten. And I'm sad about it. I'm really sad. I'm really sad about it. And I'm going to get the help that I need. And I don't care how long it takes. I'm gonna get the help and I'm gonna stick to my plan. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna eat as I'm supposed to. Um, and I'm gonna live my life because via she does not control me. This is a tool, I control it. My pouch does not control me. My pouch does not control the scale moving. I control everything in my life. And I cannot control the scale not moving, but I can control my mind. That's what I can't control. Or I can get the help to control my mind. Because it's literally my mind.
It's not my stomach. It's not the food that I'm eating. It's my mind. I'm not being patient. But anywho, anywho, that's enough about the stalls. Now you guys know, but I am eating healthy. Um, I'm about to be on menstrual, so y'all already know I'm not eating breakfast. My coffee. Um, so I'm about to head to work. And then I'm going to talk about some more things that is coming up because I have more bad news. So yeah, stay tuned. Just finished up everything. Now the last thing I do is mop the kitchen. God, Jesus Christ. Clean up your house is a lot. Okay, when you're doing it all by yourself because your son is so young. Okay, so finally got everything all organized and separated so let's go ahead and let's put this inventory up to date for y'all to start buying some lashes okay first up we got the moody lashes i'm gonna show you guys good new lashes Here are the Goldie Lashes. The Cali Lashes. These are the Juicy Lashes. And you, if you know me, you know by the name Juicy. Ask my mother. <laughs> these are the fierce lashes right here. I think these were like my favorite. Like, I'm putting these on this weekend. These are more on the shorter end. So if you like you some short lashes, there you go. These are the ratchet lashes. Ratchet. I named them ratchet because they're thick and long. So they are like very noticeable. Very noticeable. Like you stepping out the house. And people are going to see them feathers on them eyes. Because that's how noticeable they are. And I absolutely love these because they are like so long. Like so long. They are like the best. and so cute my shorter ones actually sell out more faster than my long ones surprisingly but you know they all sell out over time but it's just i noticed that my short lashes do sell out more quicker but i still got my baddies who want the extra long classy lashes short as well 
So yeah, you want some lashes? Go to the site and we'll get you a pair. And they'll be shipped right on out. So here is me stacking all of my lashes. So I'm gonna go put this inside of my department where they go and then start from there. But the one thing that I did want to let you guys know before I head back to work, because my, my lunch break is over, is that next month I am in preparation for a surgery with my nose. I have not told a lot of people. I don't plan on telling a lot of people. I just want this to be so peaceful. Um, I have given up drinking. I have given up, you know, going out socially. Um, I probably will only be going out at least about two more times because I really want to stay relaxed right now during this time as I am in preparation for what they call spe specto, I'm going to put it at the bottom, spectoplasty or something where they go inside the nose and they have to fix my airway. Um, he didn't really go into details about what he's going to do because he said he didn't want to freak me out, but yeah during this time it's just one of these moments where i just i just need peace i just need peace i don't really want to talk about it i think i may just talk about it on my channel um once the surgery is over um i don't even want to give the date it's just next month it's next month um so yeah i'm just staying prayed up that everything is going to go okay um Am I nervous about going back under again for what he claims to be an hour, hour and a half? Heck yeah, I'm nervous. And that's the other part of the bad news I have to tell y'all. Like, the doctor said that it's literally nothing he can do with this issue that I'm having with my ears. And he said that, like, we have to get the surgery done. We have to. So, yeah, I don't even want to talk about it. I just want to leave it at that with y'all that next month I am getting surgery and it's, it's a tough road. It's a tough road, you know, trying to fix everything that was broken since me being in my car accident at three years old, me trying to fix everything now at the age that I am now and I still have problems still to this day from that accident and at times it's just you know you want your you want your mother but she ain't here so that's the story of my life you guys i'm just in preparation for that and hopefully you know by me eating healthy and drinking my water and staying away from alcohol this can help me to get out of my stall because I'm going back to eating my small portions. Um, and I'm just focusing on my overall health in general right now, just to make sure that I'm at my strongest and my healthiest before I be put under. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. I know it's going to be okay. Um, because it's going to be done at a hospital. Just because I said it's plastic does not mean that it's plastic surgery. It's not, but Monday I will be talking to my surgeon about it. Um, just to make sure that he is aware of what's happening to me because he is my surgeon and I'll be talking to my primary care doctor next month to let her know what is going on. This is something that has been in the works for two years now and I have been to three doctors and I finally got answers from the third one. Um, so it's not me being in a rush. It's just me wanting to solve this problem that I've been dealing with for two years now. Like it needs to be solved. And it's literally him telling me like, you need to solve this problem. You need to solve this problem. There's nothing that he can do. There's nothing that he can do. So, um, my face won't be different. If you think that, my face won't be different. It's just inside my nose they're fixing. So, yeah. But let's get to more of the positive things. Let me go finish work. And then I'm going to go get dressed and head to laundry. And then I have to pick up a couple of groceries. And then we're done for the day. We're done. I'm drinking my Gatorade and I'm going to be drinking my water. So I'm gonna see y'all later. I kind of had like a really, really late lunch. It's it's it was 3 30. So I just said, let me just show you guys the video that I made last night. It was just leftovers that I had, which was rice and butter chicken that I made. Um, 
in this video you can see me plating my son's food but i actually just made me a small plate um during my lunch break which i took another one <laughs> for about 20 minutes just to eat me some lunch and i just had like a little bit of rice and just a chicken i didn't have any bread i just wanted rice and chicken with um some spinach that's all today 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 oh uh, it's been crazy between work recording this install of this wig hey y'all so i just wanted to show you guys how i installed my Shein wig for tiktok <laughs> so just keep watching Shein just to get a, a video on TikTok. I did that. Turn around. Now I'm on my way to go get this COVID test done. Then I'm going to go to the laundromat and then I gotta go to shop right. And then I got a meal prep for Saturday and Sunday because the girl ain't I ain't cheating. I ain't cheating. But I did take my calcium pills. I took four of them already, which equals a thousand. I have to take one more. I'm gonna take that in the next hour hour and a half and then i'm gonna take my vitamin and then that is done for today all of my supplements are done i have my water with me and i have a bottle of water in my pocketbook you know because i'm about to be outside for at least about a good three hours so i need to make sure that i have my water i put some lemon juice in here because y'all know i'm trying to linger myself off of the crystal light so i'm trying to like drink more lemon water and stuff to you know cleanse my system along with my apple cider vinegar and you know my uh juice where i do my cranberry juice a little bit of cranberry juice um 100 cranberry juice a lemon juice and i do a, a two tablespoons two capsule not tablespoons two capsule of apple cider vinegar to you know when i want to flush my system out but i did that early in the week already um, so now this is just strictly lemon water. I'm really trying to get all those crystal lights. So right now I'm about to go hit up Walgreens, take this COVID test, I'll be right back. <laughs> 